The objective of this presentation is to present the new innovative service that has been created by Scientific Beta and is offered to asset owners to help them improve the factor diversification of their existing equity portfolio. This service allows investors to analyze their existing portfolio allocation. We then work with the asset owners to try to improve the equity allocation, bearing in mind the objectives in terms of factor diversification of the asset owner. Scientific Beta has also partnered with JP Morgan because we want to not only deliver investable solutions, but we also want to offer implementation that is very important as well. So in terms of understanding the service that we're offering, the starting point is really to understand where we are in terms of factor investing and smart beta today. In this slide, we can see that smart beta is now a very mature market. On the chart on the left-hand side, based on two recent surveys, we can see that many asset owners have now, um, more than 50% in fact of asset owners, have now allocated to some kind of smart beta or factor strategy. Clearly, smart beta factor investing is a very mature market. Investors are not just investing in single factor strategies, but they've now moved to multi-factor allocations, reflecting a strong awareness of the benefits of factor diversification. We feel that there is now a need to better evaluate the factor mix that clients currently hold, not only in the equity portfolio, but in their overall portfolio, including their active managers, in order to better understand the factor diversification levels of their existing portfolio. The service that we offer will allow investors to come up with a portfolio that is better from a factor deconcentration perspective. We all know that there are a handful of factors that are well rewarded, allocating to those well-rewarded factors in a balanced way benefits from the underlying risk premium and furthermore benefits from the long-term decorrelation between individual factors. However, over the medium term, some of these factors can also be highly correlated and these correlations are very dependent on the current economic conditions um, prevailing at the time. So in order to better diversify from an economic, from the economic condition perspective, conditional diversification, we also want to think about what factor mix we can use to be more diversified across different macroeconomic regimes. The idea being that regardless of the macroeconomic regime that you're in, um, your factor portfolio is not going to be too sensitive to changes in macroeconomic conditions. So this is what we mean by conditional diversification. The, the idea being that you are not sensitive to the current ma macroeconomic conditions prevailing at the time. So let's first turn to factor diversification, diversification from a factor perspective. The objective here is to be well exposed to all the rewarded factors. We see on the far right hand corner of this chart the equal factor portfolio where you make an equal allocation to all six factors. And furthermore, on the vertical axis, you want to have as much factor strength as possible. This is what we call factor intensity. So the idea is we want to measure the current factor exposure of the existing portfolio, and this will also take into account any negative interaction between factor portfolios, and then try to aim for a portfolio that is more diversified in terms of factors, that comprises more factors, and furthermore, has more factor strength. 
So that's the objective when it comes to factor diversification. The idea is to try to benefit by being exposed to a range of factors with a low correlation, and clearly there is a benefit of doing that over the long term. In terms of conditional diversification, as we've noted previously, factor strategies are also very sensitive to macroeconomic risks. So we have built a framework that determines a set of macroeconomic variables, a contemp contemporaneous set of var variables, that give an indication of the current macroeconomic regime. Now, these variables that we've selected um, have also been known and documented to be, very, to be sensitive to the underlying factors. And the idea is we can combine these variables to create a macroeconomic regime because a single variable doesn't define a macroeconomic regime. We can combine these variables to define a macroeconomic regime and then we can measure how sensitive the factors are to that particular macroeconomic regime. And the idea in terms of div conditional diversification is to come up with a factor portfolio that is not sensitive to the current macroeconomic regime. So regardless of whether you are in a good state or bad state of a macroeconomic regime, the performance will not be greatly affected. So what factor mix do you need to be able to do that? So this is what we mean by conditional diversification. So these are two kinds of objectives that we target in our factor analytics service that we offer, either factor diversification or conditional diversification, um, over, which will help us in terms of diversification across different regimes. So to summarize this factor analytics service, um, that has been developed by Scientific Beta. It's something that we've been running internally but is now available um, 